Okay, so here are the two component testers I picked up off eBay. Uh, this one here is the $15 version that did come with the three flying pro, uh, pro blades. And this one is the $20 version. Um, overall, I think I prefer the $20 version. First of all, you've got two switches. You've got a test switch and an off switch. And it's nice to be able to turn it off. So you can then pull out a component and plug another one in. This one is a bit flimsier. The uh, the screen was loose when it arrived. It was packed pretty poorly, uh, but it does come with the three pro bleeds. Uh, also, all it does is have a test button, and then you have to wait for the thing to go off after a while, which is a bit of a pain. They've both got zero insertion force sockets, uh, and they both work really, actually, rather well. So. Here are a few components that I had lying around that I thought I'd try. I've got the relay with the coil, a resistor, a tantalum capacitor, uh, a regular ceramic capacitor, and a field effect transistor. Uh, so let's take the, this capacitor, which is uh, 10 uh, microfarads. So we put in the socket, uh, press down the zero insertion force socket, and press the test button and then we wait to see what it says and it's identified it as capacitor uh, 10.41 microfarads which is close enough for government work as far as I'm concerned so I'm pretty pretty impressed with these uh, for the price I think they're incredibly useful the number of times I've got capacitors lying around, and it's really hard to read the markings on some of them. Uh, the resistors obviously are a little bit easier to work out. Uh, let's let's try the transistor. So I'll drop the transistor in there. Oops. Press the socket down. Press test. And once again, it's identified the transistor, and the it says it's a, a an NE MOS. Uh, the VT is 2.5 volts, and it identifies the pins for the gate, the source, and the drain. And also, it it notices that there is an internal uh, diode for protection, uh, which is good because that's what I expected in these transistors. Because I'm going to use them to drive the relays in my next tube clock. Uh, and this one also turns itself off if you don't press the test button yourself. So I've actually worked with these other components, the coil and the tantalum capacitor and everything. Uh, and both of them do a very serviceable job. Um, like I said, $15 and you get the pro bleeds. This is a really good deal. Uh, it's just that this one I do prefer the off button and it did come packaged a little bit better. Uh, it's a bit more rugged construction I'd say. So you pay your money and you take your choice.